What are brain waves? There are five distinct waves. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and theta. Increased alpha activity is relaxed. Gamma is increased perception, attention, and working memory. Awake, alert, and actively engaged is a marker of increased beta waves. Theta is about daydreaming, creativity, flow of ideas, and meditation. Finally, delta is about dreamless sleep and rejuvenation. There is no awareness during this phase. Notice the gamma and beta waves have the most activity with the highest amplitude during motorcycle riding. Delta waves in a deep sleep would be the lowest. Delta waves never go down to zero while you are still alive. Delta is about loss of awareness. Creativity, meditation, and reduced consciousness are markers of increased theta waves. Alpha waves are resting non-arousal. When you are taking a break and having completed a task and disengaged, you are an alpha wave. Physically and mentally relaxed are markers of this state. Beta waves are characteristics of a mind in active conversation. Arousal, when the brain is actively engaged in mental activities. Teaching, learning, or making a speech is an example. Being awake, alert, and conscious is a marker of increased beta activity. When we close our eyes to sleep, we descend from beta to alpha to theta, and finally delta is the lowest mental activity. The biggest changes in amplitude appear to be the gamma wave with the second increase in amplitude as the beta wave. These seem to be the most influenced by motorcycle riding. This makes sense because gamma waves are heightened perception, solving tasks, cognitive processing from different parts of the brain. Working memory and attention are also essential parts of motorcycle riding. Being awake, alert, and conscious is a marker of increased beta activity and part of the motorcycle riding experience. There are times when the rhythm and flow of riding have the brain waves in a similar pattern. Maybe this is the sense of flow and engagement we feel while riding when we're in the zone. A surprising amount of activity occurs in the theta waves while riding. This is creativity and meditation. So our minds wander and have periods of meditation when there are low activity levels even on a motorcycle. Brain waves are complex. Frequencies in different parts of the brain can have a variety of meanings. However, some patterns are better understood than others, and we will focus on these. This wave is also about the dreamless sleep, healing, and rejuvenation. This is critical each night for mental health. Gamma waves are heightened perception, solving tasks, cognitive processing from different parts of the brain. Working memory and attention also increase gamma waves. Theta waves are daydreaming and flow of ideas. Say you were driving for a while and didn't realize you went through a town or passed a turn, you were in a theta state. Brain waves are measured in hertz, which are cycles per second, and can increase or decrease frequency across a range of variables. We feel inattentive, sluggish, and scattered when the slow brain waves are dominant. However, when higher frequencies are dominant, we think critically and are well engaged in conversation or active tasks. On the other hand, when higher frequencies become excessive, we have anxiety, hyper-alertness, impulsivity, and hypervigilance. So balance is important. Delta waves are slow brain waves and actively engaged by sleep stage 4, which is the deepest sleep. As a result, this dominates all other brain waves. Excessive delta waves, while awake, have been linked to learning problems and difficulty in attention and concentration. Delta waves during waking hours make it very difficult to perform conscious tasks. Sleepwalking and sleep talking occur when delta waves are increased. Theta waves are also involved in daydreaming and sleep. Theta also occurs during meditative states or sleepy states. While awake, excess theta activity can have a scattered and daydreamy. Increased theta in the left hemisphere results in disorganization and impulsivity. Alpha waves take over during inactivity, some forms of meditation and quiet time. Alpha waves are being in the moment as well. Without the alpha wave, we would not be able to relax. 
people with decreased alpha in the right hemisphere have social withdrawals, while too much alpha in the frontal area can lead to depression. Remember, increase in alpha makes us calm. Alpha diminishing on sleep and focusing on tasks seems to occur with the natural aging process. However, excessive alpha diminishing could result in Parkinson's disease and other cognitive deficits. How is EEG generated? EEG is measured from the surface of the scalp or forehead. Microvolts are recorded from the brain on the top layer of the cortex. EEG measures brain activity. No delta waves indicate no life. Other waves can have zero or close readings. The brain is a complex machine or entity sending electrical signals, building neurons, and processing. This activity is called brain waves. These waves identify our state of mind. The more we understand our brain waves, the more we can control ourselves and shape our reality the way we want. It is a natural process in every human to experience these different patterns every day. At various times, each wave will be dominant. Each represents a state of consciousness. Many of us spend much of our day in beta, but can also lead us to stress, anxiety, and restlessness. Beta is required, but excess can cause us problems. Learning to control these patterns is essential, and motorcycling can be a help. Motorcycling is a way to control these symptoms without the need for drugs and chemicals. Success in life depends on our ability to balance too much with not enough brain activity. Getting in our motorcycle zone is a way of keeping these wave patterns in balance. A person can also use a measuring device like the one I utilized in this video to measure and provide feedback to adjust your personal levels. This is called neurofeedback. It lets you control your thoughts and feelings without the use of medication. You can use this device to calm yourself when needed. Meditation can bring a person to a calm state where active waves are reduced and one can feel a sense of peace rather than anxiety. This reduces stress and has health benefits as well by reducing sympathetic nervous system processes. Simple breathing techniques work as well to bring a calm state. Focusing on breathing and tuning out other things causes the mind to increase alpha waves. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Do this several times. You feel less anxious, right? Don't force this exercise. Make it feel natural and do this several times a day. Blood pressure will decrease and anxiety will reduce. Most people take shallow, short breaths. This makes us anxious. Try this exercise. Get comfortable. Lay on your back or sit in a chair. Breathe in through your nose. Let your belly fill with air. Breathe out through your nose, place your hand on your belly, place the other on your chest. As you breathe in, feel your belly rise. As you breathe out, feel your belly lower. Take three or four more. Breathe in deep breaths with the same process. Feel the anxiety melt away. Exercise can reduce anxiety as well. Being out and about on a motorcycle is some exercise, but more is recommended. Some people try running, hiking, long walks, strength training, dancing, and some use yoga. Don't overlook the simplest way to reduce stress and feelings of depression. Playing with animals can reduce stress. Taking naps, listening to music, and meditation also works. Listening to music and riding in low traffic areas with great scenery is a favorite of mine. Riding in a group and socializing is another favorite. It's best to try several de-stressors rather than relying on just one. We forgot to include naturopathic remedies such as valerian root, calming teas, and aromatherapy. You can also do something kind for yourself, take a bath, or intimate relations with your partner. Another strategy of anxiety reduction is to reduce the workload on yourself, such as having groceries delivered. It has been a joy to ride and discuss brain waves, de-stressing, and overall improving well-being.